Pikachu. Hmm, Frank going Pika. No more playing around. Frank recognizes Kroby as a real threat. Three, two, one, go. three frames? I don't know. Did they play on three frames? Krav is on three frames. Oh, I, I okay. So, so based on how many frames Krav has, is the color he plays Falcon? I have no idea about that. Interesting. That's a really interesting way to tell, <laughs> tell how many frames you're playing without even saying anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I played him on LA Pizza and he had three frames too there. Like, I don't know why. That's why I said maybe his connection is not going really well tonight. Bad routing, yeah. I'm having bad routing to San Francisco. I get 140 ping. He could probably spoof to two, but it might lag really bad. But I don't know. Here we go. That's gonna be the stock. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, no wonder. No wonder uh, Grovey is having having a hard time doing his game still no Jones man <laughs> but I just want to take that in mind there's a little bit of handicap there but still if you are willing to play three frames oh yeah I really like that play the throw into the pivot upper, pivot reverse upper. That's a good way to ki kill Pika. Oh wow, <laughs> the standard right away. That's gonna be game one for Kroby. Oh, what is this? Frank Fear? He merely switches to Kirby. I have not seen Frank's Kirby. But but it's here. And it's blue. This dark blue. Meta Knight Dark Blue. I mean it makes sense to, to switch to Kirby. Because for me. Kirby versus Falcon, the Kirby has an easier time getting damage off from Falcon. While Falcon has the advantage on the ground, which is dash speed, and can get close to, to Kirby very fast and punish and even be able to punish a whiffed up tilt, if Falcon mess <laughs> messes up and overextends, the Kirby is gonna do a lot of damage. From just one interaction. Like that 70, 79, 77, uh, sorry. That 97% Kroby had er, uh, earlier. It was done by just getting hit <laughs> once and then from that Kirby just built a lot of damage. Just from getting hit by that up till. Ah, here's the combos. Like Falcon can can still do his standard his standard combo on Kirby, but he has to be extra careful. It was just like that. <laughs> he, he went for he went for the back air and got hit by the, the Kirby down air. 
now he's playing the pressure on the edge. Groby gets back to the stage. Ooh. Here we go. Back to the... Put Kirby off stage. Good back here to finish off the stock. Now Kirby needs to survive this invincibility phase. This is also a crucial part of Smash, being able to survive that the opponent's invincibility, the spawn invincibility. I've seen I've seen complete sets where however whoever gets the first stock whoever gets the first stock on the game usually loses because of the spawn invincibility. If they are unable to survive it. Frank trying to get at least one good hit on this Falcon. Oh, there we go. Up till burst. I feel... I feel... Uh, Frank is respecting Krobis' recovery way too much. Uh, that F smash was not very good. Yeah, look at that. He's just letting him grab ledge. He needs to apply more pressure. He doesn't even really need to to get off stage. Just be close enough to throw either a down tilt or a back air. Oh, he missed the the get up attack. What should I say? Ledge attack. Oh, just runs over. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Yeah, comboing Kirby horizontally in this match is very important for Falcon. Here we go, Hopper. And now it's Frank who's off stage. Oh, that was really good pivot. People dash off the off the platform and then double jump back here, completely catching Frank off guard. He had no time to react to that. We got two two games to zero, and now Frank going to Falcon. Oh boy. I don't want to say anything, but... <laughs> oh man, this can go both ways, but... Krovi has a lot of experience in this matchup. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Already off stage. He should have more faith in his Pikachu, to be honest. Like I, I'm sure he has, he has the ability to adapt very well. If he just, if he just keeps playing the matchup. Yeah, definitely he should have stick to Pikachu. He needs to, to figure out the matchup as his main, unless he's really good with another character as well. Like having a pocket falcon is not gonna be enough to to contest Krovi's falcon. Like look at that. Frank doesn't really is not very familiarized with uh, with Falcon's game plan. He keeps dropping very important follow-ups. And Krovi is, is completely in control of the matchup. He's not doing any standards, so yeah. Oh, he, he dropped one. He dropped the the, uh, the follow-up after the throw, and Frank Frank still got it. Like Frank has a good neutral game. It's just that he keeps dropping his his basic combos. What? <laughs> he went for the he went for the the Falcon Punch. All right. Down smash. I mean, F smash. Oh, that's that's. Gonna... <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. 
He should stay Pika. Or practice his Falcon more. Like even though he's he's dropping a lot of combos, the the game is not it's not completely one sided. Teaching that combo. <laughs> gonna have, I ain't gonna have to, man. I'm gonna have to teach you how I'm gonna have to teach Frank how to do the standard. He went for the tacos. <laughs> Yeah, that can be uh, that can be true too. When you get get thrown off by someone using a character and has no idea how to play with that character. <laughs> 